What percentage do you charge your battery or do you think it really matters? Need mine to last for at least five years. Okay, there is a new setting, right? Let me expand this. Let me, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so he's so Batman fan says he, uh, he let his run down to 5% the other night. That's good. Okay, I'm glad to, I'm glad you mentioned that. Because check it out. Here's what I do. When I first get a phone, this has been a, I don't say a myth, but like a kind of an unproven method. So you actually do want to run it down to zero. What I do when I pull my phone out of the box for the very first time. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You need to get it down to zero. But there's two ways you can go about it. Because you want to drain it. You want to deplete the the entire battery, and then you want to charge it up to 100%. But when you chart when you deplete the battery down to zero, you can either pull it out of the box, run it down to zero. So if you pull it out and you turn it on and it's like 86%, you can run it down to zero from there. Or when you take it out of the box, at some point you can charge it to 100, down to zero, and then back up to 100 point is you want to get you want to give the device a full battery cycle from 100 to zero back to 100 that not only it it's been proven it does help prolong the battery life and allows your phone to really zero in on the battery health and how to properly uh and accurately examine your battery health throughout the devices uh, uh, usage right so even if you got it down to five like the other night you probably had the phone for what 10 days a week something like that it's still okay to run it down to zero and up it just as long as look and you don't have to but that is best practice and if you are going to use it for five years i would 1000 percent do that so whenever you can you don't have to do it like immediately but maybe over the next week or so I would run it down to zero and then charge it up or you can charge to 100 when you unplug it let it run to zero whenever that is hopefully it's uh around bedtime and then charge it back up to 100 but samsung put this brand new setting in the in their devices um and they and uh I think you were you had the Note 20, right? Ultra. I think it was probably implemented in there as well. Not this, these, not these brand new settings, but a previous setting. So if you go to settings and then search for battery, let's see. Let me let me zoom in on here. Where do we go? Battery protection, I believe. You asked, so uh, should I do it now since I've had it for a week? Yeah, I would do it. Um, not this second, but. Maybe in the next day or two, I would definitely do it over the weekend or something like that. Um, so do it to zero to 100 a couple of times. Um, honestly, I think one time is enough. I think one time uh, allows your device to basically learn the parameters of your battery because it knows the, the size of your battery already right it can sense it it's like programmed in into here so it can tell how big your battery is but it's important to drain it to zero charge it back to 100 just so it gets that just so it gets that the the wide range from from zero to 100 so it knows exactly how to tell uh, uh your battery health very very accurately so if you go to settings there we go so simply go to settings right go to your settings app right and then in your settings app just search battery and then all these battery stuff will pop up select battery protection now in here is where you can activate protecting your battery so it says keeping your battery at a full 100 percent charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan choose an option below to protect your battery and make it last longer now I was just going to get into that the good old 80 percent so when you activate a battery protection if you plan on having yours for five or, or more years this is if you want the very very best option to absolutely prolong your battery life look at the very bottom option right here your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80 percent 
So that means it'll go down to zero and die. And then when you plug it in, and like if you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning eight hours later, it's, it's only at 80%. Now, that theoretically, and it has been proven, does prolong your battery life if you only charge it up to 80. Now, don't get me wrong. These, these are smartphones, right? So if you do not have that acti activated, right and you're going zero to 100 zero you know or down or five back up to 100 or if you plug it in at night your phone's at 100 for like six hours like me while it's plugged in it's not necessarily charging what it's doing is the chip inside here the power where you plug your usb type c it knows your device is at 100 and it's not just going to sit there taking all that power in at a hunt while it's still at a hundred for hours it's not going to do that now if you remember the exploding phone fiasco with the note 7 samsung learned a lot about that it's almost a, a gift and a curse almost um because they totally totally revamped remember they recalled all those phones all those phones we, we got two of them and we had to send them back right um so your phone will cut off at a hundred well at a hundred it'll stay at a hundred when it bumps to 99 down to 99 just for a literally a split second it'll give it charge until it reaches a hundred and then it'll stay at hundred for a while when it bumps down to 99 it'll charge it up damn i got a cat here hang on so um i would activate this battery protection Let's see what you got. Uh, when I try to do the battery protection, the adaptive setting is not working. It says server error and can't can't figure out why it won't work. Huh. So this setting won't work? The adaptive setting. Oh, look. What did mine say? Sleep time. Sleep time is estimated based on your phone's usage patterns. It can take some time to make an accurate estimation. If irregular sleep patterns make it difficult to protect to predict your wake up time, basic protection may may be used temporarily. So adaptive is use maximum while you're asleep and switch to basic before you wake up. Sleep time is estimated based on your phone usage patterns. And then basic is when your battery is charged 100%, charging will stop until the battery level drops down. To, okay, 95. It, was, it wasn't 99. It's 95. And then charging will start again. Okay. So I'm assuming, is this the same? Is, it, is this the same message you're getting? Because um, it says the server didn't respond. Try again. Can't. Figure out why the setting's not working. I've tried clearing cache, partition, clearing customization service cache, and still can't get it to work. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why, but uh, I will look into it. While I, I'm going to go to the hospital in a little bit, and while I'm just sitting there, <laughs> I will look into that for you. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. The only thing I can think of the only thing I can think of is that when you, because I th you you upgraded from a note, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the new Android phones typically take up to two weeks. Now, not I, it's rare that mine take two weeks, but I would say on average a week to ten days, so like seven to ten days. For you to have the phone it learns your usage and optimizes the phone in your usage patterns uh to properly optimize it basically right um so let's hope that's all it is um uh that might be it that might not be it but i will look into that for you uh let me write a note or actually you know what i don't need to write a note let me note it in my phone on my to-do list um, and I'll look into that for you and I'll, I'll, I should have some sort of an answer, uh, for you on the next one. <clears throat> well, let's see, adaptive battery, you said it was, it won't activate. Um, I'll look into that for you. I don't want to waste too much, uh, live, uh, time, but in, you know, it might take me 10, 15 minutes to figure it out. So, 
uh bear with me but i'll look into that for you and see what i can find um you're very welcome um but that is the uh samsung battery feature now in the older ver in the older phones mainly s23 and on they had i believe two do i have s my s23 is my webcam so i can't compare maybe i'll do a video on it but um i think they added a new feature in here one of these is new i know that one of these three options is new that was not there on the previous models but i'll look into that for you uh in fact i'll do that today and then i'll have a i should have an answer or some sort of information for you on the next one